What is this hairstyle you currently have called? Oh, dreads. I mean, they in the rope style, like, you know, but dreads, yeah, dreadlocks. Is there a meaning behind your hair? Oh, uh, no, nah, my daddy, uh, my daddy had dreads. Um, once again, I'm a Lil Wayne fan, so he had dreads. I always had hair all my life, but then like fourth grade, like I always grew up with braids and stuff, you feel me? Fourth grade, I cut them and then grew them right back. And then 10th grade, I got in trouble and had to cut them and not grew them right back. You had to cut them from who was raising you or you? Yeah, not who was raising me, the person I was living with at the time. Okay. Yeah. Who were you living with at the time? Uh, I was living with my dad and my stepmom. And was that the punishment to cut the hair? Yeah, they said it's the only thing I cared about. And they probably was right. I don't know. Now, the time, the current time that we see on camera, right. the current length of your hair that we see on camera, yeah. I should say. Excuse me. Uh, how long has this been, this growth that we see today? Mm, about five years, four or five years. When you did this four or five years ago, was this already a trend at the time when you started? Oh, I mean, it wasn't, I wouldn't call it a trend, but I mean, it was like, like it was normal, you know what I'm saying? Like, people had dreads, like, people, it wasn't no trend though. Cause dreads always in style, like, no matter when dreads always, gonna, I feel like it's always gonna be in style. Now, were you inspired four or five years ago for these same, dreads? The same reason, I just wanted dreads, like, I don't know. I just feel like my hair too shape funny or something for a cut, so. Because I know you mentioned your father, you mentioned Lil Wayne, yeah. but I didn't know if it was someone specific. I mean, yeah, for... that's the same. No, that's, that's the same. Like, that's the reason why I grew dreads, but I don't know. I ain't want to let him want no haircut or because I wouldn't even feel comfortable with it because I had hair all my life, pretty much all my life. Like, my head, I need shape right for a cut. On the opposite end of the spectrum, has your hair inspired others? Probably. I inspire a lot of people to do a lot of stuff. But when it comes to your hair, is there evidence of this or is this just more so assumption? Um, assumption. It's probably evidence, I just don't know it. It's assumption. And for time reference, it's July 2021 now. Right. Now, are you keeping it at a certain length or just letting it grow at this point? Oh, I'm just letting it grow. Maybe I might end up I don't know. I like this look that's in now. I might start trimming. I ain't never thought about it. I'm just something to think about. I'm glad you brought that up. And this is your original hair growth? Right. No weave, no, no hair weave. extensions? No. Now, what is your opinion on that? Oh. Men with weave or hair extensions trying to get the look that you have today? Oh, my opinion on that is, I mean, you do your thing. I ain't, like, you do your, you do your shit. Like, whatever you do, that's on you, but... Like, it's people like me that have to sit there and go through the ugly stage, you know what I'm saying? Like, the little dreads, the ugly stage, like, I had to go through that. Not once, I had to go through that twice, so, you feel me? Like, I don't know. I guess y'all, I feel like they should've just did their own shit, but, like, they should've just went through the journey. Like, if you go get dreads, you gotta go through the journey. It's a journey behind it. What if it's your own hair you put back in? What's your opinion on that? You cut it off yeah. for whatever reason, right? but you don't get weave or hair extensions per you se. You're your using your own hair that you had at once. Oh. Getting put them, getting them put back in. I don't know. People are telling me to do that when I got mine cut, but I don't know. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with that. Like, I don't know. It, the thing is, like, you can do that, but you got to think about it. Like, you got to have dreads at the right spot or something because you got to think your hair don't grow the same all over your head. Mine don't. I can't speak about everybody else's. Like, my middle dress, they, they longer than some of my side. Like, I don't know. So, it'll be, it won't even look right to me. I, I think it won't look right. I don't know. I'm sure once you get it all in, you probably could trim it all to level out, but I don't know. They'll be doing too much. Do you do anything special or take anything special for your hair growth? No, I just um, put oil in it. Certain brand of oil, certain type of oil? Um, nah, the lady that do my dress, the lady that do them, she got her own little brand, so 
I just put that in there. I buy it from it every time. Do you know what it's called? No, I don't. I just know it's some type of ooh. I think she just, she probably made it, I don't know. I put it on my beard too, so it's for both. And this lady, she's a hairstylist you use? Right, yeah. Is that the only person you use or do you use a barber as well? Oh uh, yeah, I got a barber, they, they line me up and stuff, but as far as dreads, just her. And care to share who do you, care to share who you use as far as your hairstylist? Mm, nah, I don't feel like sharing it. I respect that. Just curious, why not? Yeah. I mean, I can. I just I don't know if she feel comfortable in putting her, you know, her name on her. But shout out to you. How long have you been using her for? Oh, about a year and a half. Yeah, about a year and a half. Care to share what city she's in? Nashville. Ever took her on the road? Mm-mm, not yet. Hopefully in the future. When it comes to this hairstyle you have, do you have a pet peeve with it? Something that gets under your skin? Something you can't stand about it, if any? Oh, uh, nah, uh -uh. What about people that might want to touch it or pull on it? I mean, yeah, that is, I guess that is one, because People always want to, oh, let me touch your hair, or uh, then I, I don't know, like, I'm too nice. Like, I'd be like, all right, go ahead, but I don't know, I don't, like, they really do be aggravating. Is it heavy? I don't know, no, not really. It ain't heavy to me. It's just, so I wake up every day, so I don't, like, it's just, I don't feel like, you know what I'm saying, it's just. Does it itch? Nah. Maybe I sweat and stuff, like hot outside, I get to sweat and I'm playing basketball, then it might, but other than that, nah. What's something you've done to your hair you'll never do again? This could be anything you've done to your hair. This doesn't have to just, that's, this doesn't have to just resort to um, your current hairstyle. But what's something you've done to your hair you'll never do again? And if it's getting a regular cut because you feel like your head is shaped funny or however way you describe yeah. it respectfully. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's the answer, I don't know. Yeah, oh, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I probably would never get another cut again. Like, yeah. What were you getting at one point in your life when you were getting a cut? Oh, I probably just get, I had like a fro just getting it tapered up, like, you know, just a regular fro.